This program is brought to you by Emory University. Uh, we developed a new way to watch, to see forces uh, in a living cell and to watch it using a normal conventional microscope that's typically used to identify, uh, to, to do fluorescence microscopy, to, to watch molecules. Cells are, are constantly engaged in an interplay between chemistry and physics. There, there's, all, there's this uh, in, constant exchange between these, these two um, inputs. We understand the chemistry part really well, but we know very little about the, the, the physics, the biophysics of, of forces that are occurring on the cell surface and in cells in general. The process of cancer, uh, metastasis, involves the migration, the movement of certain types of cells into new locations. The movement and then subsequent invasion and then setting up a new colony. All these processes have mechanical components to them. It's, it's very important that, that we understand forces and, and their role in biology. But before we can do that, our f the first step uh, that's needed is to measure the force, to find out where forces are, how the intensity, the magnitude of these forces, and where they're occurring. And so this, this new method that we've developed allows us to do exactly that, to, to find out where, when, and how much forces are being applied in a live cell. We chemically modify the two ends of the polymer. One end has a, a small protein that binds a receptor in the cell surface. The other end of this polymer is anchored down to a, uh, a substrate, a, a surface. Now, once this polymer uh, sits on the surface, it's usually in a relaxed uh, mushroom conformation where the fluorescence from the ligand is quenched. Uh, once a force is applied to this polymer, the polymer is extended, it, it stretches out. And once the polymer is stretched, the distance between the surface and the fluorophore increases, which gives us a positive signal. It turns on this sensor. And so what we're measuring is the stretching of a polymer as a result of a cell binding the ligand and exerting a force and tugging on this molecule. We chose the growth factor, the epidermal growth factor receptor. So it's biomedically important. It's, it's overexpression is related to different diseases like many types of cancer. We uh, took cells that, that overexpress this receptor. They, they, have, they have an abundance of this receptor on their surface. Uh, we then uh, took our force sensor, our EGF force sensor, and we presented this to the cell. And what we did is we watched the force sensor, and we saw that at times this force sensor was extended and then it returned back and retracted. It extended and retracted repeatedly. Um, and that, that provides direct information at, at how much tension, how much tug this epidermal growth factor receptor is applying on its ligand. And, and so with these experiments, we uh, were able to determine uh, conclusively that EGFR applies a force as it internalizes in its first, very first steps of taking in a ligand inside a cell. The, the, the real advance here is that we've developed a new technique to watch forces in a cell, in a living cell, uh, in a time-lapse movie. And not only do we watch these forces, we're able to quantify them. So we convert light, the fluorescence intensity that we see, into newtons of force, into piconewtons of force. This is a technique that any, anyone can use. You, you just need a standard microscope, and that makes it really easy. The second reason it's, it's great is because we can, we can use this on a cell that is unmodified. We can uh, measure things that have never been measured before and do it in, in higher time resolution and in spatial resolution, resolution than is possible. <laughs> <laughs>